Buying from police auctions and buying bankrupt stock is a great way to make some extra money. In this side hustle, let's take a look at some of the auctions that you can use to source stock to buy and sell on sites like Facebook Marketplace and eBay. And before we crack on, please do like and subscribe to my YouTube channel as I've loads more videos to show you how to make money online through many different side hustles. And please do keep watching because at the end of this video, I'm going to show you where you can find a list of all these auctions so you can do this yourself. So what happens to all those stolen items that police recover but can't reunite with their original owners? What happens to all the lost property at airports and train stations that are never claimed? And what happens to all those returned household goods, clothing and gifts that we send back to our high street shops each and every year? Well, I'll tell you where they go. They go to auction. So what we have here is one auction site. And if you want a list of these, I do have a list on my website, sidehustlepro.co.uk. I do charge for the premium list. But in this video and at the end, I'm going to show you one or two places you can start totally free of charge. So you'll see, for instance, on this one, there are commercial vehicles, classic vehicles, general vehicles. And then we go into things like garden stuff, household equipment, computers, plant and tool machinery. This stuff fetches big money when it's sold on places like Facebook Marketplace and eBay. But it does also pick up some money at the auctions. So just do your research before bidding. There's absolutely everything you can imagine on here. There's all sorts of stuff. Look at this, for instance. There's drilling equipment, and some of it isn't that expensive. And what I would say to you is be a little bit punchy. Take a few risks. Don't go for the things that everybody else is going for. Perhaps buy a few things, for instance, like tools. Go for things like maybe diggers. And i show you something here, actually, I saw earlier. Now, you can see the current bid is £3,000, so of course this is not going to be for everyone because it is expensive, and there are goods from £5 onwards on this website. We go across to eBay. Let's pop it in there and see what these are fetching. There you go. A refurbished one is going for ten and a half grand, nine and a half grand. So if I look at this, and it's for £3,000, even if it goes for four, four and a bit, then this has a massive profit in it for me. Always remember, important info, there's VAT on the hammer price of 20% and VAT on the buyer's premium too. What I've done is set myself a little spreadsheet up. Now say I went to £4,000 on that one. What that would show me is that in total would cost me £5,760. Now if that is selling for Ten and a half grand, that leaves me with a really good profit, doesn't it? Ten and a half grand, there's five thousand pounds in that printer for me if I can secure it for that. And obviously, I can afford to sell it cheaper. I can sell it for eight grand and walk away with three thousand pounds in my back pocket. Not a bad little deal. Let's take a look at some other options at different price points. This is one I really like. So let's have a look at the chainsaws. I was looking at this one. So it's the Husqvarna 40.9cc petrol chainsaw, 18 inch bar. So if we copy that, what I do is I always pop it into eBay and see what they're going for on there. And as we can see, 40.9cc, 18 inch bar, 350 quid or 399 pounds. So let's go and have a look at this. It's currently at £150. I have to remember 20% on the hammer price and 20% on the VAT. So my next bid will be another £10 up. So let's say £160. That will cost me in total £230 if I was to secure it for that price for £160. So looking back at eBay, say it went for £350. I can see there's 120 pounds in it for me. Factoring say 20 pounds extra costs or maybe an extra 20 quid into the bid. There's 100 pounds in it for a small investment. Not bad for a day's work, isn't it? What would you do 
with an extra £100 a week in your back pocket, an extra £400 a month in your back pocket. These sell easily. They're very, very easy sellers. As I mentioned earlier, over on my website, sidehustlepro.co.uk, I have three different types of membership, and it starts from just £59.95 a month plus VAT, and for that, you'll get access to all the other information, so where these auctions are, plus a load of wholesalers. So, for instance, say you wanted to set up a sweet shop uh, or something similar to that as a business, or you wanted just to create some sort of side hustle, buying from police auctions, lost baggage auctions, and return goods auctions, the information is here for you you might think to yourself what 60 quid plus that that's expensive but i've just shown you one way how to make 400 pound extra per month buying one single item and then just selling it back on ebay or facebook marketplace so 60 pound would you want to learn how to make 400 pound plus per month extra I give you some support as well. If you fancy going in a little bit deeper and getting some proper one-on-one -on -one coaching, then there's obviously a monthly fee at 395 plus VAT. And that's for those of you who are dead serious about making some extra money online, especially as we go into the new year. I also said to you that I would make sure I showed you a place where you could find some police auctions, totally free of charge, with the link to those as well. And of course, it's over on eBay itself. And some of the police stations, and I'll show you one as an example, have their own eBay sites with goods that they have recovered up for sale. Are these cheap? I don't know. I looked at some yesterday and they seemed a little bit pricey, but let's take a look at a couple of these police sites on eBay itself. So here we go. Um, I'm going to show you this one. It's Leicestershire Police. They've got 3,301 100% positive feedback. So they're doing something right there, or people are too scared to give them a negative or neutral for fear of arrest. Here we go. Let's have a look. So there's all sorts down here. Uh, Miss Gino Black hoodie, uh, Hugo Boss hoodie, um, and there's some, obviously some nice caps and trainers. Let's have a look what they've got. They've only got 17 items for sale. I guess these have been recovered uh, and just not claimed, maybe shoplifted or something like that. I, I don't know. But these are on eBay itself, and several police forces have these items. Let's have a look what they're going for. I mean, they're asking for some money for them, aren't they, as well? 350 quid. Um, I wonder... I wonder how much they're actually worth. I'm sure we can find out if we do a little bit of research as well, can't we? But they're punching with the prices. A lot of these don't have any bids on. And look at this here. There's even some private plates. 995 for one bid. J2 UNR. Is it Junior? I don't know. Um, let's have a look. Let's see what we can uh, price these items up as. So a D-squared cargo baseball cap. Yeah, they're going to be expensive, aren't they, being D-squared? I can't think off the top of my head what these go for. So let's just open a window. Where's the icon one? 50 quid. So they really are punching for some proper money from the police, aren't they? So you're looking at 50% off now. There are no bids on this, are they? And it's new with tags. So 50% off if you fancy that. They also want five quid for your postage. So, you know, it's not a bad price is it, if you want 50% off an icon cap from one of the police auctions. Uh, and as we go down, there's obviously other things on here as well. Adidas Yeezy Boost 700. Nine bids on these. I wonder what those go for. In fact, they've even got the tags on, haven't they, as well? So uh, is that the price down there? I'm just trying to see. Let's have a look. I wonder if they've put in the description what they're actually worth or what they've put. Um, let's have a look. Collecting your items. So they look like they're £460. So again, you're looking at around about 50% off at the police auctions for goods that have been stolen. So again, not bad, is it? If you fancy yourself set Yeezys, get yourself over to Leicestershire Police Auction over on eBay and you won't go too far wrong. Of course, there are other places where you could also buy from as well for the police auctions. And like I said, check out sidehustlepro.co.uk for a list of those. And do remember, I do charge for the list. It's because I've spent many, many days and hours doing the research for this so it becomes dead easy for you. If you don't want to spend 60 quid, do the research yourself. The information is out there. Believe me, it takes time to find. 
Just a quick word of warning before I do go. Do remember when buying at auction, the goods are sold as seen and they do attract additional charges like VAT and buyer's premiums. So factor all that into your expectations and your budget. Please do check out sidehustlepro.co.uk and please do subscribe to my YouTube channel as I will be sharing many more auction sites and many more hustles with you over the coming weeks.